Hey there, welcome to day nine of the 21 days of Pilates. So today we are gonna go back to the band to help work our upper body. It's really important to strengthen our upper body. I think we tend to forget about the upper mid back. And when we're hunched over all day, it's very weak on most of us. And we need to really build into our posture. And doing that is by working the spine as well as those back muscles. So we're gonna really work into that today using the band and as well as hitting those hips and core. Okay, so you ready to get started? Well, let's do this. Okay, so lie down on your back. <clears throat> Uh, feet about sit bone distant apart. And we're gonna hold that band just about shoulder distant and make sure you have nice long wrists. Remember that wrist alignment is so important. Start to engage and breathe and allow your chest and shoulders to get wide and heavy on the mat. On your exhales, really just allowing your upper back to widen and get heavy. Now, keeping your shoulders wide and heavy, I want you to inhale, pull the band apart. Remember, we're not breaking the wrist to do that. I want you to come from those back muscles and then release. So it's not big at all. It's just a little pull out to find those muscles. Keep them heavy and wide. And you'll start to wake up those muscles that are just around your shoulder blades and your mid back. Couple more, keep those wrists long. And then release and taking your legs long, seal those inner thighs together. And then just stretch the arms back behind you. Again, they have a little pull. All right, you're reaching the arms long and you're pulling them back at the same time. You're gonna take an inhale, start to reach the arms up. And then exhale as you come up, just pull the band apart so your shoulders stay nice and wide, your chest stays open. And then we'll take it back. And up. Squeezing your hips together. One more time. Let's stay there. Keep the band wide, the chest wide, and start to pump. Good, did you find your back muscles? Keep those wrists nice and long. Doing great, squeeze the hips. Can you bring that chest up more and reach the crown of your head to the ceiling? And then let's reach it down. All right, we're gonna come up for a roll up. You're gonna work that band as you pull it apart. Allow your arms to stay on your back and see how strong you can be when that happens. You're gonna flex your body up and over. And you're gonna really feel your hips connect because your shoulders are connected to your back. It's all connected. So it's easier to find the hips when your back is connected to your arms. If you're shrugging and then you're gonna feel so much tension. Notice what it feels like when everything's connected. Squeeze the heels and press those heels down, reaching through the arches. You can do two more. Good, and then roll it on back. All right, we're gonna do some bridges here. I'm gonna take the band underneath here. You're gonna hold the band about shoulder distant, pull it apart so you can really connect to your back and get those legs ready for some hip rolls. So we're gonna roll the hips up and you're reaching through your knuckles and pulling that band apart. And can you really feel yourself connected to your back? So allow the chest to get heavy as the hips stay lifted. Roll it back down and lift it up. Pull the band apart, press it apart, 
So you feel your arms and your back really working. That's super important because that's gonna help us in the next exercise where we roll over onto our back. So you can continue to do these. If you want to try a rollover with me, we're gonna do that now. Bend your legs into you and then just stretch them away at a high diagonal. And we're gonna take our legs up and over and you're gonna pull that band apart and press those arms down. Do you feel yourself really engaged in your back? Keep your chin lifted, keep your belly scoop, and we're just gonna lower those legs, open them up, reach through the heel. Squeeze together, up and over. Use that band to help support your arms and back. You're gonna do three this way. And you're not on your neck. You're not in your joints. Keep the legs apart for these three. The legs come apart and then they come together and flex those feet. For years, I did this on my neck and I was scared to teach it to people because of what it was doing to me. And then when I connected my arms to my back and really strengthened my back, I realized, wow, this is more of a back ab exercise than it is rolling onto vulnerable joints. So if you're really in those back muscles, that's what's working. Good, one leg down, one leg up. All right, flexing that bottom foot, give me five circles each way. And notice how wide the back feels and chest is nice and wide. And then we'll go five the other way. Using your center to pull the leg in, using the back of the leg to help bring it down. Pull in with the abs, press down with the back of the leg. Pull it in and then switch sides. Other leg up, flexing the bottom foot, five circles. So we wanna get out of the hip flexor, right? Use your center to pull that leg up and everything anchored will help you. And then we'll circle the other way. And go ahead, just hug it in. All right, legs long and let's get our band. Okay, so we're holding the band, shoulder height again. All right, let the shoulders be wide on the mat and then pull that band apart and feel it. Did you feel your back muscles a little bit more? Release, do that two more times, find the back. I know I found it a lot faster, how about you? Good, all right, so now pulling those legs into you, wrap the legs around, lift the head, neck and shoulders and again, pull the band wide, find your back. And single leg stretch. Pull. In. Reach. Reach. For four. For three. For two. For one. And go ahead and hug it in. All right. So now put the band over the shins. Okay. Drop your neck just for a second. Okay. We're going to lift up again and we're going to really work this double leg stretch a little bit slower than normal. So I want you to flex it up. All right, find your back muscles as you reach the arms and legs. And I want you to stay here. Find your arms on your back and try to lift your chest a little higher. Good, and then pull it back in. Again, we're gonna reach and hold again. Find the arms on the back and then pick that chest up. Good, one more time. Reach, hold, and come on in and lower it down. Good job. We're gonna come on up for a little spine stretch forward. All right, flexing those feet. All right, and we're gonna take the arms. Again, shoulder distant, find your back. Take an inhale, lift up, and exhale as you dive it. And roll it up. So forever, all I would feel in this exercise were my quads. <laughs> so if you're feeling the same way, I want you to really dig those heels into the mat. And then as you're coming up, can you squeeze your seat from your outer hips? So you're almost pulling those outer hips inward as you reach through the heels and reach through the arches. So we wanna get the outer part of the leg, the seat to work more than these quads. So soften this up, dig those heels down. You can continue doing these. If you'd like to do a little open leg rocker with me, just release the band or continue your spine stretch forwards. Okay, those are great for you. All right, so either you bend your legs and grab them, or if you wanna go into the transition, 
you curl back and then using your center, pick those legs up and hold. We really wanna keep those arms on our back here. All right, as you roll back and we come up. And so you come up in one unit because you're not shrugging those shoulders at all. They're just connected to your back. One more, not on your neck, but on the power of that upper mid back. All right, you're gonna bring those legs together. We're gonna come on down and anchor that body. Take your hips over to the left, but keep your heels together. Don't let one heel go in front of the other. Circle the legs around and bring it back to center. We go over. Squeeze those hips together inward. Use the back of your legs to help reach away. Come around and center. So your legs are reaching from your abs, right below those ribs. Your arms are anchored, your back is anchored. And then just go ahead and hug it on in, good job. All right, we're gonna spin it around onto our stomach, but I want you to bring your band with you. Good job. All right, so we're gonna lie down. You're gonna take the band in front of you. All right, we're gonna hold it in our arms. And I want your legs to either be together or they can have some distance apart. And your arms are a little bit wider than your shoulders. Arms are connected to your back, pubic bone heavy. We're gonna come up and as you come up, I want you to pull that band apart from your back. So inhale, pull apart and see how that can help lift you and exhale it down. So the back muscles attached to the arms help lift your upper body up. And inhale, anchor the feet, the pubic bone, use your center. Two more. And lower, good, take your hands right by your shoulders and let's lift the chest forward. You can come up a little higher than normal if you're okay with that and then roll it back down two more times. Inhale up, exhale down and up and down. And let's push it back for a little shell stretch. Let's take it forward again. Come up onto your elbows, press the chest forward, lift the center up, spin your inner thighs up to the ceiling, and we're gonna kick. Good, using your seat and hamstring and inner thighs, help kick the leg, right? For four, and three, and two, and one, and bring it down. Take that band now behind your low back, Okay, and then we're gonna squeeze our legs together, look to one side, and I want you to just kick those legs three times. Again, folding at the femurs, three, squeeze the thighs together, and then plant those feet down, look center, lift up, pull the band apart, see how those arms can help guide the chest up. And three, two, one, pull the band apart, anchor lift. Three, two, one. Anchor, pull up, and then last time. And now we take it down and press it back. Good job. Okay, turn it around. We're gonna take the band around our feet and our feet are about sit bone distance apart and then cross the band so that we can really get into our outer hips. So you're gonna push that band apart from your outer hips, right? Not from your ankles or knees. Get into that and then lift tall. All right, we're gonna lean back and then we're gonna roll it down, push through the heels, try not to them, let them slide with you. And then we roll it up, pull on that band. The elbows go up behind you as you lift your body up and over your thighs and then lift it up through the spine. Lean back and curl. And up, up and over, and lift it up tall through the spine, and lean, 
and roll one more time. Take it up and over. Squeeze those hips. Come on up and roll it all the way down. Good. All right. Taking your feet out of that and then taking the band under your hips again, we're going to go back into some bridge work. This time it's just a little bit more than before. So get about sit bone distant apart. And we're going to roll those hips up as you pull the band apart. So find some tension on it to really help stabilize your back. So do you really feel your back look straight up to the ceiling, the chin stays up, and we roll it down. Two more times. Roll up, stand in the back. Should feel pretty powerful at this point. Arms might be a little shaky. Now hold. Okay, so now you're gonna reach your right leg long and you're gonna use the center to pull that leg up. Flex the foot, pull it down, use your seat and hamstring. Pull up, use your center, seat and hamstring. Up, two more. So we don't want hip flexors doing the work here. Here we go. Anchor the arms, press those arms down. Two more. Good job. Lower down, roll it on down through the spine. Stretching the legs long, flex the feet, arms behind you, and let's roll it up. Dive it over and roll it up. Okay, so those legs are gonna stay together. We're gonna really squeeze them together from your outer hips. Pull in, anchor the heels, anchor the hamstrings, not the knees. All right, so those legs are powerful. You're gonna reach your arms out to the sides. I want you to spin and twist from the spine for three, two, one, other way. And three, two, one. You should feel your arms on your back and it's your waist and spine doing the work here. Your arms aren't pulling you, right? They are attached and strong. So your back and arms are you, you are <laughs> moving in one unit. Quite often what I see is this, but now we have that attachment point. We've been really working it for about 15 minutes. So you should really feel that connection at this point. Squeeze those hips together. They should be working hard too. Legs work super hard. Pull them in, lift taller, squeeze your seat. Good, and release, nice job. All right, let's turn to a side. Take the band, fold it in half, and then wrap it around your thighs. And then you're gonna put those two ends right into a loop. So you're not tying it, but you got it tight and you can hold it with your hand. All right, so now we're going to go down. Legs come to a tabletop position, elbow, shoulder, hip lined, draw the belly in. And we're just gonna lift and lower. So really anchor the bottom leg as you lift the top. And I want you to lift from the hip. Three, two, you're gonna keep it up there on one. Give me five circles each way and you're circling the thigh. Let that lift. Stay long in your spine and we'll circle the other way for five. Good, and then we go heel to heel, knee to knee. Good, two more. And then release it, awesome job. All right, so we're just gonna come up. We're gonna go to the other side. Just a quick little hip strengthener because these are the muscles that squeeze your thighs together, okay? Hand behind the head. So elbow, shoulder, and hip are aligned, nine degree angle. And we're just gonna lift and lower. If you need more tension, just kind of pull on that band, give it a little bit more tension. You need to anchor that bottom leg because the bottom hip is working as well. So feel that bottom hip anchoring and it's working. Three more. This is loosening up on me here, hold on. <laughs> now I want you to hold it, all right? Five circles each way, thigh bone circling in the hip joint. Feel both outer hips working, hopefully. Another way. Good, heel to heel, pull it apart, knee to knee. Pull it apart, knee to knee. Three, two, one. 
good and release it. Awesome. So hopefully you feel those hips. Oh, they're working. Okay, release the band. Take our body long. All right. So you're reaching the arms long. Let's see how our teasers are doing, okay? So we're gonna curl ourselves up and find our teaser position. So pull that band apart, just kind of float up. Arms reach and we roll back and up. And know you have all your modifications you can do. You can do something we've done before that you wanna do. Reach and now lower and lift. This is like double straight leg, but we're in a teaser position. Good, now everything down. And up. And release, good job. All right, let's spin it. You're gonna take your left foot into the band and then it's right in the ball of your foot and then you're gonna put the two ends into your right hand. So the band is in my left foot and my right hand, okay? And then you're gonna really anchor yourself in your tabletop pose. You're gonna lift that left foot and press it out, okay? So you gotta use this hand on the band to help stabilize that band. And then I want you to spin your inner thigh up to the ceiling and really reach through your heel. And we're just gonna tap down and lift up, find your seat, hamstring, inner thigh. So lower and lift. I want you to use your outer hip and pull that leg inward a little bit. You're gonna grab the outer hip, the inner thigh, and back of the seat and hamstring. I want you to work that whole area. And then one more and you'll hold it up there and just pulse into those muscles. And I want you to stretch that leg super long from your center. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Release it for a second. We're gonna keep the band. We're just gonna turn it. So it's like a little pivot turn, okay? Hand underneath the shoulder, this knee right under your hip. You're pushing that hip forward. So you're really active in the seat and hip on that side. So use that anchor and we lift and lower, lift and lower. Three more, three. You're gonna keep it up there on one and then three little circles each way. Stabilize that bottom hip. Good, and release it. Ah, oh, nice job. Okay, so we're gonna switch sides. The band is gonna go into your right foot and your left hand. Okay, so you cross over the midline, place it in your left hand. <laughs> All right, once you kind of stabilize yourself, find your center, push that leg away from your center, inner thigh spins up. Seat, hamstring, inner thigh, outer hip. Feel that whole area working from your abs. Tap down, lift up. Good, really reach it long. Get out of that low back. You're gonna keep it up there. Really stretch it through the arch of your foot, but from your center, not your knee. You feel that? And then little pulses right into the seat, the hamstring, the inner thigh. Five, four, three, two, one. Release it down, pivot turn. Okay, so now this knee is right underneath my hip. This hand is right underneath my shoulder. All right, now it's really about your anchor here, which is your leg. Find your seat, hamstring, back of your foot is anchored and we lift up and down. Two more. You're gonna keep it up there on one and then three little circles, really reaching that leg long from your center. Circle the other way. And release, good job. All right, let's get rid of the band. And you're just gonna stand yourself up and let's go down. So find your heels. Click them together, reaching the arms up, circling around, diving it down, walk four counts out. Four, head down and hold right here. Three elbow bends, how are your arms? Curl yourself back up, walk back, four. 
Keep your palms down if you can. If you have to go to the fingertips, that's fine. And roll it up, reach, and dive it down. Four walks, head down to the last possible moment. Two elbow bends. Curl yourself, hips stay steady. Keep lifting your hips up to the ceiling. Circle, dive, last one. And one elbow bend. Good, dive or bend your knees. Curl yourself so you're like a shell stretch and let your head drop to the floor. Grab your heels and just lift your spine up. Uh, and then pull it back into a nice little child's pose. You can open your knees if you want. Uh, good job. And just tuck your toes under. Click the heels together, roll up. One big unit, arms on the back. Oh, good job. Hi, how do you feel? Good work. So I am pushing you a little bit in these classical exercises because they are known to build strength. I want you building strength. So I want you to really feel that arm connection on your back, okay? You wanna feel the seat, hamstring, inner thighs, really helping to work that thigh and its hip joint, not just the hip flexor, we tend to overwork those. So we overwork the shoulder joint, we overwork the hip flexors, we overwork the knees. So the work that I'm doing this week is to really find more your center, your back, your hamstrings and seat and inner thighs, all those kind of underused muscles. And it takes brain power right? Because these are our sleepy muscles. A lot of them haven't been woken up in a while. So we're trying to wake them up, create new neural pathways, and just strengthen those weaker muscles, okay? So hopefully you're feeling that. Thanks so much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day 10. We're going to hit the double digits. So yeah. All right. Have a great night.